Hello, these are instructions for Phase Diagram Lab. The, the total mass for each slug should be 10 grams. And I, here you see the apparatus set up for melting. We have a test tube with a Bunsen burner. And inside the test tube is a thermocouple K-type thermocouple down in the test tube. Once you have your sample weighed out, you want to pour that into the test tube. The test tube can then be positioned at a slight angle with the Bunsen burner close underneath. Thermal couple then goes down in the test tube and held by the clamp above. When you are ready to light the gas, you should find some heat sensitive gloves. Once you have your gloves on, there's a lighter for lighting the gas. If the flame is too yellow, you can adjust that by this valve down at the bottom of the Bunsen burner. So then we're ready to place the Bunsen burner under our alloy sample and we see it's starting to heat up. So I'm going to start recording my first file. I'm starting on the desktop and I can also use this thermal couple as a stirring if I need to stir and mix my samples. Once your slug is all liquid, it's melted and you can turn the gas off. Now I'm ready to start my second file here to watch as the slug cools down as a function of time. I can look at both the table and the graph of this data. So once you are cool, you can stop the recording. First of all, we need to stop file one here, and then we can save our second file as backup. Once you are finished recording data, you now have your thermocouples inside the slug. So what we have to do is heat this back up and melt it to cool the thermocouple out. Okay, the thermals couples out so I can clean it off then by bringing the gas out. And 
making sure all the alloy is removed from the tip of the thermocouple by heating on the gas and wiping with the scrubbing. Then I can turn the gas off. And you see in the back of the hood a stand for cooling your test tube. So we're going to remove this test tube to cool back here. And you can then start your next sample.